it is a scorcher out here today. I think it's about 85, 86, high humidity. The cage is fully primed and dried, so we are ready to paint it. That is what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be painting everything on the inside. White, the cage white, any spots on the floor or the tunnel, the frame rails, etc. Nice enamel white. So we'll see how that goes. Well, the camera died while I was painting in the hatch area. Uh, didn't even realize it, and I kept on going. Ended up going with a second coat. I was really rushing mainly to get the windshield area done so I could put the windshield in. Uh, yeah, but it kind of looks like it's going to rain, and there was some rain droplets on the hood of the car, so I started buttoning it up. Uh, tomorrow will be the windshield, and then maybe back to the junkyard for door hardware. But, it's only a couple areas where it's a little bit thin, but for the most part, came out really well. I think I'm going to take some rattle can white enamel, and maybe try to blend some of these areas in a little bit better where the cage is welded in. I didn't realize this at the junkyard. You can't really see it, but you can feel it. Hi, hey Chuck. There's a big old dent and crease in this hatch. The guy definitely backed into something. You see the paint is all blown out. Here's the, here's the cage. It's looking really good. Project Icarus finally in the garage. This car does not have a name yet, but maybe one day it will. We have Sheba in the garage right next to it. Thank you. Hi, Sheba. Started right up. Still check engine like a fuel pump because I ran out of gas on the track. But that's okay. The first thing that we're going to do on this, which was always the plan, is clean up the cabin and finish painting. And then we're going to do a little bit more weight reduction clean up any 
rust spots that we may we might find. And we're gonna turn this thing into a race car. What is this? What are all of these for? Oh. Wipers. What is loose? around then and come on baby this is all gunked up so difficult Doesn't go much further than that. I don't want to bottom it out too badly. That'll do her. Cool. On to the other side. That seems. Which way was that? To down, okay. Cool. Missing one guide right there and one guide right there. So we have to find those somewhere from something. But yeah, we have all four windows down now. Next step, we're going to reposition our lighting uh, so that we can kind of videotape in here a little bit better. And we're going to do a clean out. We're going to uh, scotch bright. Any rust spots that we see and prep for paint and we're going to finish cleaning up the inside of this this cabin here so stay tuned for that okay i think that's a little bit better of an angle you're also going to get to see what i'm uh dealing with the hatch here which is my own my own fault tying the shoes one second uh one thing that we're going to do is try to remove this lettering i don't like the lettering anyway Maybe we'll leave it. I'm gonna also try to pop this dent out. And then this is the big issue here. Is we have one piston working. And this one, the hole is all blown out. It's not good. First thing we're gonna do is try to figure out a solution for that. And clearly it's been it's been worked on in some regard in the past. It almost looks like somebody tried welding here. Oh, somebody definitely tried welding right there because that was broken before. I guess we'll have to find somewhere to mount the fuel door cable. That's fun. This is not from the Subaru. No. Uh, OEM Y coupling for WRS. In a ah! Ah! Cool. All right. So this is what I'm gonna do. I am gonna do a little fabric cobble in here. Actually, jam that back in there. All right. Beauty.
you do it. Poker action. Clean her up a little bit. Maybe it does need a little. Hang on right now. And now they're good welds. I mean, at this point, you guys might as well just give me like 50 bucks an hour for welding. Ooh. What do we think? Cool. Well, that's nice. That works now. What is this thing? Let's get rid of that. All right. We are inside the car. Yeah, we're gonna. One second, let me. It, it, oh. Sorry about that. We're inside the car. We're gonna be scuffing up any unpainted areas and prepping them for paint. We're going to either rust reform and then paint, or just paint the remainder of the inside of the cabin of this car, uh, starting with up front here. Um, we're going to take care of the floors, trans tunnel behind the dash, uh, any part of the steering column that we missed already, uh, and work our, work our way back. Uh, I got the respirator because we're going to be doing some sanding, we got sanding blocks, sanding, sandpaper, scotch bright, sanding sponge. We're going to be doing some sanding. Get at it. Nice. All right. I think that's uh, where we're gonna call it for the day. Cap this bad boy back up. Let this all dry. And we'll go to town with the white tomorrow. All right, guys. Can you see me? 
No, you do not see me. Hello! All right, we're back in the garage. Uh, next day in here, we're gonna be doing white, covering up everything that we primed yesterday. Trying to make this look even nicer on the inside. Give me one second to open this up and then we're gonna get at it. All right, that is the first coat done. Take you on a little walk around here. Tripod out of the way. Okay. Whole thing painted. I didn't want to paint all the way up the sides and up the doors and do the roof and stuff. I tried to blend the sides in a little bit. I mean, I'm doing this with a, a foam brush and a can of paint. I don't have a paint booth or anything like that. I think it looks pretty nice so far. Definitely needs uh, a second coat and a whole bunch of places you can find it. Most places you can tell. Look at see through. Well then, second coat will make that look nice though.
All right, so that was quite the process. I used up all of my paint that I had in my quart tin. I think it looks pretty good. There's a couple spots that are a little bit thin, but that's okay. We're going to take a little bit of spray paint, I think. A little rattle can action, some Rust-Oleum maybe, gloss white, and we'll just go into the areas that are a little thin and, and hard to reach with the brush, and, and we'll touch that up. I can't really, I can't rattle can bomb this whole thing, obviously, because we're in the garage and it's cold and I can't run the heater and I don't want to suffocate. But we're gonna do what we can do. And that's not too bad for using a roller and a foam brush, I would say. I think that looks pretty nice. And it's gonna look a lot better once we start filling this in with stuff too. Anyway, speaking of fuel cells, today's task is to figure out how this fuel system works.